Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a brand new video today. We are back with a new video. I am going to be reviewing and testing the new tan that I have discovered, which is, drum roll please. The new tan by Lottie Tomlinson called Tanologist. I'm sure that's how you say it, Tanologist. Um, it is this. She has her own tanning range. I decided to purchase the self tan water in dark and i will show you throughout the whole process like before before i washed it off and after and then obviously i'm going to show you what it's like now it's been two days now i think since i've had it like, i first put initially put it on now i've been follow, following lossie thomason on social media for years now and um i saw that she was coming out with her own tanning range and she's always tan like always tan like she uses fake tans so much and I thought if any fake tan is going to be amazing it's going to be this one because she constantly uses it so she knows what's good and what's bad in tans so I thought give it a cheeky purchase and see what it's like so I'm going to test it for you and before I bought it I did look at um, two reviews that were on YouTube and I thought it might be quite nice if I did one as well because I am really pale like you will see in the clip that I'm so pale it's a joke like my Irish skin just can't take the sun like I get so burnt so easily it's, it's actually um it's actually tragic I just I just can't I wish I was naturally tanned like I did think when I bought it I was a bit like mm, it's clear I'm not gonna be able to see what I'm putting on like usually with tanning mousses you can see like the as you're putting it on where you've put it on that sort of thing so I was pretty skeptical as to whether to get this or not and then I thought nope gonna do it gonna do it got to do it for the youtube too so first impressions the smell is pretty nice my other favorite is bondi sand that stinks of coconut like i'm used to it now and it's like all right this smells like floral like it smells like it smells like um body spray so it's quite good but the only thing i would say is it does advertise that it is um odorless and it's not odorless it's got a very sweet smell. As you leave it to develop, it does have a slight fake tan smell, but it's nothing compared to like the normal tans that you buy. So uh, that's the only thing I would say, is that it does have a slight smell, so it's not completely odorless, but it is 100 times better, trust me. So this is a clip of me beforehand, before I actually put any of the tan on. I put moisturizer on my hands and my elbows because my hands go the worst when I fake tan. The fake tan clings to the to the um, to your wrists and your hands and your knuckles and stuff. So I put moisturizer on there and your elbow. This is a clip of me actually putting it on. I do recommend putting it on with a mitt. Even when you're spraying, it does feel like that it's quite even. Just running a mitt over it just makes sure it's super super even, so you don't get any streaks. This is a clip of me before I hopped in the shower so you can see like the colour difference as I get in and out of the shower because I know a lot of fake tans you go in the shower and you really like the, the colour you've got you're like yes it's going to be really nice go in the shower it just all comes off and you've got no tan left so I will show you the comparison here to be honest it actually the colour hasn't changed that much the top layer has come off a little bit but you actually can't tell that that um, it's washed off a lot like other tans so I'm really really impressed by that I came out and I was like, I'm still the same colour, it's a miracle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why? I left the tan for about six hours before washing it off. And this is the result. I believe the tan was about £22, I think I paid for it. But uh, Superdrug were doing a deal when it first came out that if you buy one, you get one half price. So I I did buy two because I thought they're quite small and I thought they'd run out really easily but to be fair this is I've used this twice and it hasn't gone down too much which I'm pretty impressed by my overall impressions is that I'm really really impressed by it because at first I was a bit like mm, will I like it will I not but I absolutely love it the, the fact that it's not even that messy like mousse is a fun gets everywhere and also you sweat it off easily this is not like that this is the color is really natural like I really love it, I, I've had comments saying that it looks really natural, people have asked me if I've been on holiday and I've been like no I haven't even been on holiday yet so that is a really positive comment 
and this is even, this is two days after I've put it on, so I'm I'm still so impressed by it. I will be definitely using this over my Bondi Sands now because it's just so good. But I do recommend getting dark. Well, it does depend on what you prefer, but I do think I do recommend dark because it's, this is darkness. I don't think it's too too dark. It's just right if you know what I mean. But obviously if you leave it on longer you get a dark tan or if you leave it on less you'll get a less of a tan. What I will say about this tan is that when you leave it for a day, I literally left it for the day and then woke up the next morning and I was 10 times darker. So if you do want the fullest of the colours then um, I would definitely recommend leaving it overnight and then like say you have an event or something. But even on the same day I still went out and it was still dark so... It is really really good i do recommend it so i'm going to end the video there i really hope this helped and if you want to go out and buy this tan then i hope that you know the pros and cons of it i try to be really really honest with you so i gave you like a bit of criticism about it and, it, and mostly positives if i'm being honest because i can't really fault this very much <laughs> so i really hope you gain something out of this this is definitely my new favorite tan and i will be buying some more because although it, i do think it's quite pricey i do think it's worth the money but like i was sitting at my computer like do i buy it do i not i haven't had, heard many reviews about it and i was like no nope, molly just get it you're gonna love it because lottie thompson's tan is always amazing you're gonna love it and i saw her instagram picture of her actually having the tan on and i was like and she has other things in her range like uh i think she has drops and uh, gradual tan she has quite a uh, quite a good range so I'll, I'll probably be buying more of those and testing those so if you want me to test any more of them then please let me know if you want me to test more tan or beauty products i'm really like doing reviews so give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you with a new video hopefully very very soon thanks so much for watching bye what i will say about this what i will blah, 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 blah. It's just this heat is too much. Like we're having a massive heat wave in London. And I just like I'm like. What I will say about this tan is that um, I've actually forgot what I was going to say. Oh, that is so bad.